Nashville hot chicken sandwiches. Let's go. All right, let's get started with the eggs. I have a nice bowl here, all of my eggs. Just gonna give them a quick crack and beat them up. When I whisk my eggs up, I really like to use a whisk on them. Um, I don't like it when there's a separate white and yolk. I like it fully incorporated, frothy, good to go. I feel like it, it just, when you're breading something, it sticks together better. When you're making scrambled eggs, it cooks up better. Our breading's gonna be amazing. Ahead of time, I already mixed up my spice rub. I call it heat, it's like a Nashville hot rub. Its main pepper heat source is like a combination of like habanero, and chipotle peppers, cayenne peppers, and ghost peppers. So with everything balanced and less of each one, you get a better mouthfeel of all of that heat. It doesn't sit and feel uncomfortable in the back of your throat and stuff. So I have four and a half cups of flour right here. I'm doing the recipe three times over. So I'm gonna add three tablespoons of this spice rub. I'm just gonna use a whisk to mix it in together. And you always wanna taste it, make sure it's not too salty too hot or anything like that okay chicken's prepped up leave the fat on all of that's flavor don't worry about it just use these and dredge it in the flour you get everything coated all the way around that's really important but you don't want excess flour on it. you don't need all that so just dust that off get the flour on it throw it in your egg slap off some of this egg like that the egg's gonna stick to the flour and now the new flour is gonna stick to the egg and you're gonna get nice crispy crunchy teeth. you want to go hard kfc style extra crispy take it out dunk it in the egg batter it again i got my oil going 350 you always want to make sure when you lay it in you drop it away from you that way in case it splashes it splashes toward the back okay while that's going i got some butter here i got my flat top hot throw my butter down just like that Take my bun, toast that bun up. I wanna to toast both sides of my buns. I got that going, our bun is off. We're gonna throw a little bit of mayo on it. I just wanna make sure there's just like a little bit of moisture to help carry the fried chicken, everything else. I absolutely adore pickles on my fried chicken sandwich. I love them on my burger. I need that little bit of crunch and acidity to help balance everything out. Chicken's still frying up, we got our bun done. Let's go ahead and make our spicy oil. Take a solid tablespoon of that spice rub and then we're gonna add hot oil to it. Now I'm just gonna mix it up, make sure all that oil coats. There we go. Chicken's done, let's pull it off, guys. Look at that. Just gonna let it drain on a paper towel really fast. Ooh, we're gonna take the oil and paint it over the top. There's the top. Look at that. Let's see if we can hear it when we cut it. Okay, let's go. Shh. There you go. Okay, taste test. That smells so good. Let's go. Mmm, I have like hiccups. It's hot. It's like good hot. Like, like I don't, ooh, hiccups, sorry. Like I'm not ready for water yet, hot, and I can keep taking another bite, but it's so good. And those pickles, that little burst of pickles on there is like my favorite. I wish I would have put more pickles on it. I kept thinking like honey. And I know that's not Nashville hot. This, but I wanted something sweet. I kind of have an idea. I think I'm going to get a donut and make another one and put it on a donut and try it. Let's go. Okay, I'm going to put that on the thicker side of the bun so it, it holds it a little bit better. Hot oil. It's kind of like, you know, it's like a hot sauce basically. That's all it is. It's like oil and a hot sauce. And we're going to paint it on. Why not sweet and spicy? Savory, all the elements. Just get our little cross section. There we go. Awesome fried chicken sandwich. Glazed donut, toasted in butter. Let's try it. Mmm, that's really good. The amount of sweet from the donut really balances that heat. I feel like it's missing something. Like it doesn't have the pickle, but I don't want to put pickles on it. It's, um, but I kind of want like cabbage, slaw, not on a donut. I have an idea. All right, we're gonna do it again. We're gonna do it again. Cue the montage. Secret weapon, man. I think this is gonna be absolutely awesome. Did I pull out kimchi? Yes, because this cabbagey fermented gochugaru goodness 
in all of its fish sauce and green onion and oyster sauce glory, I think it's gonna be everything the sandwich needs. Oh, there you go. Look at that, that's gonna be awesome. Third cross section of the day. Here we go. This is, I think, the everything I want it to be. Everything from the sweet, everything from the spicy, but then it's gonna have that like really mature fermented cabbage kimchi flavor. It's sweet, it's spicy. It's got that little tangy twang to it from the cabbage and the fermentation and the kimchi. So that was like a roller coaster ride going from, hey, I have an idea of making a Nashville hot chicken sandwich with this awesome rub to now we're eating donuts and kimchi in one bite and being confused because it works and it tastes so good together. Um, I don't know what to say about that I, other than try it. For links about the spice rub and the recipe, check out the description below and stick around and watch some more Camp Chef videos where we're cooking with you. Thanks guys. Nashville hot chicken sandwich, Nashville hot chicken sandwich.